Good morning, good evening, good night. It is Divine Empress Queen T L C S G M. I am back with another quick energy soul charm read. I'm going to be doing a read for all zodiac signs, and this is just going to be a two card spread to see what's going on in every sign's little love life or interest so we are going to get straight into this and get two cards for the zodiac we're going to start off with aquarius Ooh. let's see what the energy okay we got the page of pentacles for the aquarius you could be getting ready to receive some kind of message or news or offer Okay, some kind of manifestation that you've been uh, working on, baby. <laughs> Knight of Swords energy. So you got the Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. This is someone that's going to be something that you could have been manifesting and working on. Someone's coming towards you in love. Someone is coming to you with a message, a good message or news. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay. Aquarius, let's see. Let us get... Let's get one more message. These cards. I said a two-card spread, baby. So we can make this quick fast for all 12 zodiac signs but if something calls me to be doing uh, do something else then i will because a be expecting a call aquarius there will be a phone call a message or news an offer out on a date someone is going to be coming in fast quick fast in a hurry with this knight of swords baby that energy is gemini leave aquarius but just because it says that energy doesn't mean it has to be that person coming, calling. They can embody that energy as well. But be expecting a call, a message, or news, a good message offer out. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna end that one, and we are gonna get into Gemini. Gemini two cards spread. There is one that flipped out here. Gemini, Ten of Wands. Definitely releasing some kind of burdens, baby. Some kind of burdens you've been holding on to. What I say, you definitely releasing some. Eight of Cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you, Gemini. Period. Point blank. Any competition, fighting, bickering. Okay, petty competition, baby. You're not with it. You're walking away from it. So anything that does not serve you, Gemini, in love, I see you are walking away from it. Anything that puts burdens or any kind of extra responsibility on you, baby, you're not with it. Spiritual growth on the bottom. Okay. That's what you're walking away to a deeper meaning, baby, Gemini's. Okay. And I love it. And what do we got here? One card I'm going to take. I don't love them the way I love you. OMG. So Gemini, somebody is definitely in love with you. And they are saying that they don't love the person that they are with now the way that they love you. And woo. Okay. Gemini is walking away from things that no longer serve you. Serve them. So... Whoever's in love with the Gemini baby, I suggest you let go of those burdens yourself and walk away from things that don't want to serve you. Because eventually, if you don't have that bond and that love with that person that you're with, you're not going to be really committed to them and um, stay loyal to them. Everyone deserves somebody that they're attracted to, that they love genuinely. Okay? 
With that being said, we are going to get into a Libra two card reading. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's see what's going on with the Libras in love and in general. Two card spread. And three flipped out there. We're going to take those three. You got the three of wands. You got the page of swords, baby. And the six of wands, baby. Libra, it's going to be some kind of victory, baby. You just waiting on your success to take off. Something that you've been working on that you maybe went to school back for, baby. Something that you've been manifesting, baby. Stick to it. Because you are definitely going to be reaping some kind of victory, baby, in success. Okay, if you've been going back to school, I see some kind of studying that you've been doing. Entrepreneurship, any uh, light bulb idea that you've been working on. Stick with it because you will receive victory in it. And we'll get a little la la love unofficial message from your person. See what they might be saying as well. Ooh. Your person is saying, I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. Whew. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How could you ever do that? But people don't know what they have until it's gone, baby. The grass on the other side may always look greener, but in reality, it might not be. You got to know what you're doing, baby. Somebody regretting. They just, ooh. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out, your person says. They're afraid of rejection, baby childhood trauma some things that um they have never healed from from maybe feeling abandoned baby or rejected so they are afraid to reach out to you from those issues that they've been dealing with as a child baby but they are definitely in regret from losing you libra stick to your success and your goals whatever you're working on because you will receive success and we're gonna get out of this labor real quick into Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, let's see what's going on with the Pisces two card spread. Oop, there's one. Five of ones. Oh, Lord. Drama, pity, competition between maybe family, um, loved ones, your haters, whoever. Pisces. But there's definitely some kind of pity conflict going on. Competition, baby. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, yes, this could be fighting over money, um, family. Yes, family situations could be fighting over children. Uh, you could be fighting with your baby mama, somebody that you could have ma been married to that you could have seen as your wife, seen it all with them. You definitely are in conflict with them, fighting. Six of Wands, baby. But you will be receiving some kind of victory for your hard work and labor. So keep working, moving forward, regardless of this petty conflict and drama that has been going on within the family or around money situations. In the end, we do see victory with the six of ones. So keep your head up. And another card comes out for you, baby Pisces. I don't love them the way I love you. This could be you talking to your partner or your partner talking to you. Baby, it's a lot of this energy floating around here, baby. And just because everything looks good, you might be getting things, material things or things looking out from you, baby. There's no greater gift than love, that deep love feeling connection. And if it's not there and you loving somebody else and with somebody else, go with them, baby. He'll really check and see what you need to do before you make those decisions. Okay. Why yo, why yo, Pisces? Now we are going to move right on in with a cancer read. Two cards spread. Let's get two cards for cancer. See what's going on. Ooh. Okay, we got two out here. I don't like how those flip like that, flipping up. So we got the Two of Cups, Cancer, and the Magician. So this is somebody that you could have seen as your soulmate, baby, a divine connection. Okay, you are manifesting this love in, baby. Yes. 
and it is seem like it is definitely coming into fruition your rejection your rejection will destroy me okay so cancer this could be somebody that you're trying to manifest that you see is your soulmate that you love baby that you want to manifest them back into your life but if they reject you you saying it will destroy you and you could be working on yourself your own self-improvement and healing um you know don't let any rejection destroy you because if what's meant for you will be meant for you baby i mean sometimes you got to learn those lessons you don't know what you have until it's gone but um guys rejection is your protection baby things are just what meant to be don't dwell on that energy all right Cancers, continue working on yourself and manifesting your dreams, baby. All right, Cancer, what we got now, Scorpio? Let's get into these cards. Two cards spread for Scorpio. And definitely, I just want to say back on that Cancer reading before I switched to go to the Scorpio reading. I seen 1111 on the card. So that person that you manifested it was your soulmate. It's definitely your soulmate, a divine connection. Anywho, we are now on to Scorpio and we got two cards that flipped out here. Scorpio, something you manifest and working on, baby. What is it? Ten of Cups. Happy relationship. Happy wife. Happy husband, children, the whole nine. That's what you're working on, manifesting, baby. And it's coming. Okay? So keep those thoughts positive and keep manifesting that dream. If it ain't here already, baby, it's coming. It's happy life that you see. Ten of Cups situation with someone. Scorpio. Lovely. You will be in a higher level of commitment, strong foundation, marriage, and children. Be expecting a call, Scorpio, from your person. Definitely be expecting a call about this loving um, relationship that is going to be built on a strong foundation. Something that you've been manifesting or your person that's come in the call that has been manifesting. All right, baby, Scorpios, so we're going to go on into another read, and we're going to be doing a Taurus, two-card read for the Taurus, two-card read for the Taurus, let's see what's cracking with the Tor Taurus, Ooh. Taurus, you got the four of wands and the death card, baby. So, some kind of victory, baby. Some kind of celebration um, that you've been working on, baby. You're going to receive and you're going to be celebrating, partying with friends. Um, there is going to be an ending, a death and a rebirth, baby, in a situation, baby. And death of old ways, but new ways um, being brought into the situation and positive situations, baby. Definitely. This could also be Taurus with the Four of Wands, a marriage card, the 1111 card. Somebody wanting to create a strong foundation with you. Okay, they see love and happiness with you, and they want to end any negative or things that were from the past in the situation. They want a rebirth. They want a new beginning with you. Taurus, a deeper commitment, definitely with the Four of Wands, eleven eleven card, and this is a message from your person. It says. You are the last person on my mind before I fall asleep. It's the 1111 card, four of ones, yes. Somebody that sees you as um, their divine counterpart, baby. 
they fall asleep thinking about you and when they wake us when they wake up they think about you okay you're the last person that's on their mind okay it's all this person sees is you Taurus they they just are definitely infatuated in love with you okay they can't get you off their mind Taurus all right now with that being said we're going to get, 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 I can't speak. We're going to get into a Virgo read. Two card spread for the Virgos. Let's see what's going on with the Virgos. Virgos, nine of wands. You could be on defense, on guard about a situation, baby. You could be feeling betrayed from a situation on the warrior, baby. This could be somebody that you married to or did you see that you see or saw marriage with. You definitely on defense, feeling like the wounded warrior towards this person that you saw a higher level of commitment with. Okay. Somebody could be coming in with some truth in this situation. Offering some kind of love, a higher level of commitment with you, Virgo, as far as they could be offering marriage, okay, but you're really not sure of this situation. Yes, somebody definitely sees you as marriage material, but you feel them wounded from kind of backstabs or betrayal. So you on guard, you stand in your territory, you thinking twice about the situation, you don't know. If you want to move forward, but this person is definitely saying that they love you and want to marry you, but you definitely on guard and not sure and set boundaries, definitely, and make sure that it's right before you make that step because it is a serious situation, marriage. You know, we all do it because we want it to last forever, but in reality, out here, situations don't go that way. You may see red signs, but you ignore them, get into a situation, and then bam, separation comes down further into it, baby. So make sure you, that you are truly in love, that you are invested, and you want to work on it. And I see that you are not quite sure about this person. The last time we were together, you thinking about some kind of situation. Um, the last time y'all were together... Um, maybe it kind of felt like destiny, like y'all are kind of soulmates, but with all the hurt and the, and the pain in the past, you're on the fence. You're not sure. And I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to get all deep into it because we're doing a two-card spread. So, okay, that was Virgo. So, now we're going to be doing a two-card spread for Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with your energy. Two-card spread for Capricorn. There go, let's go, let's go. Somebody being stubborn, they don't want to talk. Capricorns, you don't want to talk. You don't want nobody to know. <laughs> Somebody being stubborn. Seven of Swords, Capricorn. This kind of sneaky, deceptive energy that you may be in right now. Let's see what else comes with this card, and I will further go from that. You could be running away from some deceit or deceptive ways. Or this could be yourself. We got the Six of Swords, baby. In the reverse. So you're definitely calling some kind of toxic behaviors. Okay, you're not... Um, you're not moving away to come common wires, baby. You are... In a definitely a deceptive behavior, manipulative, or you could just be using some kind of strategies and tactics. Yes, you maybe could have some kind of options out here and you're using the tactics to see maybe which one is right. Um, you don't know which way you want to go, <laughs> okay? But this having to catch somebody, you don't know which which way you want to go right exactly now 
Um, I'm kind of um, just <clears throat> maybe into a little bit of everything. Too many cards rolling out here. Divine Connection, Twin Flames, those third-party situations I flip in there. I just want one card. All right, there it is. Thank you. It's always been you. So Capricorn, somebody that's on your mind, okay, that you maybe been sneaking deceptive to, okay, you realizing that it's always been you and I'm feeling you. The Jeeper script is on the bottom. You could be spying on this person heavily or they could be spying on you. Whichever one. Take it how it resonates, baby. But um, you're trying to be sneaking and deceptive of trying to get this person back into your life and maybe being manipulative or doing whatever it takes but you realize that you have always loved this person all right i'm not gonna get quick and deep into this either two cards spread so we are going to after capricorn there is aries two cards spread 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 for the aries two cards spread for the aries like these two wanted to flip out so you know what i'm gonna take them aries queen of pentacles and six of pentacles baby aries this is somebody that some kind of secrets or illusions that someone has been hiding or you yourself aries some person that is the queen of pentacles that you see loving and motherly baby she got her own coin baby they are <clears throat> Aries, this could be you wanting to give an equal give and take, or this person could be wanting to balance and give an equal give and take in the relationship, baby. Um, equal reciprocity, and that is a great thing to have. You could be very attracted to this person, Aries. You see that's very loving and grounded and stable. She's connected to Mother Nature. She has her own coin, okay, takes care of herself. Our reunion will happen this lifetime. So maybe it's taking some kind of time to get to this divine union, baby. But you got faith that it will happen. And if it's meant to be, it will be, baby. So this could be somebody... Uh, definitely Aries from your past that's wanting to reconcile with you or somebody that you see is home and loving and loyalty that is coming into your life Aries and with that being said we are going to get in with Leo Ooh, that was the two cards I should get two cards spread for Leo there's one there's two Okay, five of swords, baby. Leos, you in some kind of mental conflict in your head about a situation or a person, baby. It's, it's up at night causing you really mental mental conflict. With the world card, baby, this is some kind of situation that is ending. And um, it's kind of some kind of cycles that have been repeatedly over and over but it is going to be ending and new ones beginning with the world card it definitely causes some mental conflict in your head baby uh this mental conflict is from a separation that still affects you leo you're in your head about a deep separation and mental conflict of a cycle uh, with someone that you were with before that you live with or whatever okay but you are you no longer with them there's endings and new beginnings let me pause there's somebody at the door i may have to end this here with the leo read 